Hi and welcome to this episode. And first of all, I want to wish you a really happy new year. I hope this year will give you so much joy and maybe some new adventures also. This episode will be about kimchi in the way that I do it. I know there are plenty of recipes, but you have to just try it and think about how you want it to taste. But you get a glimpse of how I want it to, want it to taste by following me today. But first of all, I want to take you with me on a journey because the day after New Year's Eve, we went out for a hike in the beautiful surroundings and after that I will take you through kimchi. Today we are going for a hike in the mountains. It's a beautiful day and it's about 18 degrees Celsius. And the trail, it starts over here. Jättefint. We found an ocean of heart. This must be the world's most strongest dog. If she was a human, she would have been around 110 years old. And she's just walking and walking. Do you think, think someone is living there? Yeah. Maybe it's Santa Claus. <laughs> 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 you always thought he lived in North Pole, but no, no. There is. In Turkey. Yeah. It's a pretty tough walk, actually. <sighs> but really beautiful also.
I don't know if you can hear it, but I think we are closing up to some goats. Now they are coming. Now we are hungry. This herb is some kind of oregano and here in Turkey they pick it and use it for tea to help the stomach. And it's really tasty and it smells so good also. Oh. Mm. And uh, now back to kimchi. I hope you have melted everything you have seen now and are ready to make some kimchi. For my kimchi I use two sorts of kale, one red and one white kale. And you also need some carrots and I also have some apple inside actually because I think it tastes really fresh. And you need to have ginger salt, some chili, fresh or dry flakes, it's up to you to decide. I will have both, I will do two bowls this time, so I have the double amount of what I need. And you also need water to mix the salt in. And I have here one liter of water, you will have the recipe in the end of the video of course. Uh, because to one bowl you need five deciliter and I will have one Swedish recipe and one English recipe of course and then you also need some equipment you need a really sharp knife and you need one of these actually I don't know what you call this in English I have no idea but for this time I use it for the carrots on this big side, you see. And for the ginger I use this side. So you get some small pieces. And uh, then you also need bowls and I have two of them here. So the first, first thing you need to do is to take off the shell from the carrots and also wash all the vegetables. For the apple I keep the shell because I think it's good looking and also nutritious. So I keep them. And about the nutrition, you know when you saw the video from our hike you also saw the caves and I am a little bit curious about how it was to live in the Stone Age. For me, it's maybe living in a, a cave and have some struggles to get some food to eat. But can you have your own picture of a daily life on the Stone Age? How they lived, what they were doing actually on, on a regular day. This is one thing I will talk about in the next video. How things have changed from, let's say, 10,000 years back until now. Because so little has happened to our bodies and our DNA, but so much has changed 
in the world. So also changed with the food, food that we are putting into our bodies. But today we will make some kimchi, so back to that. And first you take one and a half tablespoon per five deciliter water. So in this case I will take three tablespoons of salt. And you might think this is pretty much, but it will actually be exactly perfect. Like this. And then you stir it so it will solve. And first of all, you also need to pick out a jar for your kimchi. And the portion I have here is for one bowl. And we had a really fun episode last year actually when we <laughs> made kimchi and my husband wanted to join me in the kitchen. And he said, oh, you are putting in too much vegetables. You will not, they will not fit in that jar. And I told him, yeah, you need to add some more because it will be too little. And I will show you the result. Here it comes. You have kimchi, Ja. Oh. Oh. Ja, mm. <laughs> burk. And now we start with uh, slicing these in thin slices, not too thin, but like this. And I also take the apple on the big side of this one. And this is how much I going to do and now actually we have a company in the kitchen little Inka of course she's always with us when we cook and also my husband are you making kimchi yes are you kimchi. making much this time <laughs> or <laughs> Are you making a small bowl? <laughs> the biggest bowl in Alanya. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and for the ginger, I take about two centimeters. And then you peel it off like this. I use the back side of a sharp knife. This one is not so sharp. So I can just peel it off with it. Or you can use a spoon if you like to. It's pretty easy actually. And 
and then I take the smaller side for this one. And then you also put it in the bowl. Du kan inte filma mig när jag gör det här, det går så dåligt. No, it's not going bad. You are experimenting. I like it. This is actually better because you have bigger pieces. Yes. This will be That's interesting to eat. Yeah, I know. You're pretty smart. And uh, this time I also decided to have some black pepper inside because I really like it. So we will try and see how it tastes. And uh, Lasse would like to have the dried chili, so I take the fresh one today. This was really a spicy one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's green. And we had it in another dish the other day. And it was really strong, so... I don't think I take it all. Maybe half of it. Like that. And then... We will take the water, the salty water, and pour half of it over this one. Yeah, about that. And what you do now is that you squeeze it. And you have to work it pretty much because it's getting softer and softer. And you see the amount in the bowl is getting lower as I them together and remember now when you have some chili inside here that you don't take your fingers and put them in your eyes because that's not so nice I know I have tried it And this is my husband's bowl. And now I'm going to fill the jar. And you have to press it a bit. So most of the air inside is disappearing. And you want it to be a little bit of air left in the jar up here. I will show you. Here. That you have a little space with air here in the jar. 
that's important for the fermentation because kimchi is fermented uh, vegetables and why we eat it is because it has so many good bacteria for the stomach and also it's really tasty I know you will you will probably make this every week when you have tried it I promise you and then when you have filled it up you take some of the water inside the bowl and fill it up so the water will fill the vegetables like this you want the liquid to cover the vegetables and also that you still have some air left here to the top and then you have to cover it and if you don't want to burp it morning and evening you have to leave some possibility for the air to flow so just place it on top and then it has to be like this but I like to burp it because then I know that the process is proceeding so I I cover it completely and then you have to place it dark and a little bit warm so in room temperature or above your fridge that's a good place and you leave it there for about three days and then you put it in the fridge for a couple of days more until it stops burping then it's ready to eat and this is the result today I have some more red cabbage inside and Lasse has some more white of them but they are almost the same and after maybe one or two days you can see small bubbles coming up like this and then you know that the fermentation has started so three days dark and pretty warm and then in the fridge for a couple of days more so good luck everybody so I'm really happy about this jar and also um, and also Lasse's jar because this time the amount of vegetables was just perfect he's really good at it now and uh, thank you everybody and I hope you will enjoy this week See you again and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Above your refrigerator. Here comes a short update. This is day three and it's time to put them in the fridge. Um, this is also something that you can do if you have a lot of cabbage or carrots that you want to get rid of because they are soon getting out of time. Uh, because this is a way to preserve all the vegetables. So if you have some, please try this. And I think it's pretty hard to see, but it's full of bubbles inside here. Uh, but I will open the covers and I will show you inside. Now they are open and you can see mine is a little bit brown and that's because of the apple. And this is Lasses. And if I do like this, you see the bubbles coming up. So now it's ready. Let's put them in the fridge.